on. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. It's the white team taking on the black team. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. And breaking the game down, guys, let's take a look here at Shake and Bake. And you can count on him game in and game out to log major minutes because he plays with such great energy, full speed, 100%, just does not wear down. Remarkable stamina. What I love about watching him play, Steve, is his terrific agility and body control. Even with the multiple defenders closing in, he contorts his body at angles that really give him a chance to make shots from weird positions all the time. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. Now the black team with it. Four-point game. Pass to deep. From deep three-point range. And uh, Akeem Olajuwon pulls it down. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris. Thanks, yes. The white team's head coach and I were able to chat. When we talked about what they'll try to do on defense, he told me they're going to have to do everything they can to neutralize their opponent's high flyers, saying, quote, we can't play above the rim like these guys, so we'll have to do our best to keep them away from the hoop. Gentlemen, easier said than done. All right, Doris. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because uh, we've got one here tonight. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. This is a Durant. Here's Speedy. Here's Money. He's guarded by Elijah Wan. The pass to Speedy. Just five on the clock. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. On defense, the black team. Pass to the Prophet. He feeds it to Elijah Wan. Here's Holland. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, they're shooting 75% here early on, even with that miss. Nobody anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot, though. And he gets it to go. Speedy's got five points so far. I'll tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. Well, that's the key to basketball. Get the ball inside, into the paint, either with a pass or with penetration. And blocked. There's the lob to the hoop. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. He threw down that 360 like it was no problem, no problem at all. That's insane skill. The guys on the bench are just falling all over themselves. Yeah, they love uh, one of the plays of the year, possibly. Oh, you missed it. Took him no time at all on that one. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That's his third foul of the game. Wow, that's three in the first quarter, and I think if you're the coach, you've got to think about sitting him down. Here's the captain. They set the pick. Make it two hands for safety. That's what they say, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. You got it. And he was also safe with that dunk. <laughs> no reason not well, to be. Might as well remove all doubt, right? D passes to Money. He dishes it to O'Neal. And the layup's good off the glass. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Passes to the prop. Well, the coach gambled and lost by keeping him on the floor. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. And this is a guy who's made the power slam his trademark, Kevin. So we'll just have to see who he throws it down on tonight. And, Steve, we've also heard people point out how many minutes he plays, which is large. I mean, even more impressive to me isn't simply that he plays those big minutes. It's that he does it full speed 100% of the time. D passes to O'Neal. 
and the shot is long. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but yeah, that's not his range. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. And there's the pass to Raymond. And he gets it to go. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should really continue to work it down low, Clark. That's really going to free up the rest of their offense. Pass to the captain. That three off the mark. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Here's the screen. D passes to O'Neal. Here's Rain Man. Launches a three. And that one's good. Rain Man's got five points so far. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assist. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And he makes the first. And the black team making a change here. Davis has checked in. Second free throw, no good. Now the black team with it. They trail by one. Throws it up high. Anthony Mason's checked in for Hubert Davis. And so it's Black with it. Here's Mason. And that one is hammered home. There it is, guys. That old lady defense. Just watching him go Clark right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. It's deflected. Ori passes to Holland. Here's the captain. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Pass to Money. Rain Man. Kept alive. Here's Gary. And it's good. Walk through contact. Gary. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. At the line for one. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. And the call Defense will be foul. against D. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. They find themselves down here in the first, and a lot of that can be attributed to the early foul trouble. There's a screen. He passes to Raymond. Let's the three fly. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Gets it off. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to... Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. Taking a look at the white team performance here, Clark and Steve. What do you think they've been doing right? What do you think they've been doing wrong? Well, they've been getting to the foul line here an awful lot. The aggressive play really paying off. Yeah, and you know what? It also helps to put the mute button on the crowd. I mean, when you methodically score at the line, that can put those fans on their hands. We've got Anthony Mason. Money out there with Rain Man. Then it's D, and it's O'Neal in at the center, locking down the middle. Shake and bake out there with the captain. Then it's the Prophet, and there's Ori, and it's Elijah Wan in at the five spot. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. He can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. That whistle got a big response from this crowd, and it is... Not a favorable one, let's say. I'll tell you what, the fans can't believe that they made that call. 
Yeah, and guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout. Just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Checked in for Anthony. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Rain Man is out there with money. Then it's O'Neal. Then there's Speedy. And it's D, and it's the point guard position. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Sixers coach Brett Brown for 12 years an assistant with the Spurs. Coach Popovich said he quote lives and breathes the game. Fellow Spurs alum Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer said he fits Philly because he's blue collar and he's a tough dude. He's demanding but players love and respect him. Kevin? The perfect guy to rebuild their foundation indeed. Doris, thank you. There's shake and bake. He's got six. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. Now the black team with it. Four-point game. Oh, trying for it. And it's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Off the inbound. O'Neal passes to Rain. D. Second chance shot. Fades. And so out of bounds it goes. And they retain possession. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. And that's off the glass and in. Here's the profit. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. He has such terrific form and consistency on his free throw. Beautiful to watch. The pass to Speedy. Ball's knocked loose. Pass break. Here we go. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Well, sometimes, guys, you can forget he's out there, and all of a sudden, bang, he'll string together three or four shots in a row and just take over the game. And here's another thing about him, Steve. Every time he gets his hands on the ball in the backcourt, he's a one-man fast break. And here's the fast break. Corey passes to Hull. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Nothing fancy there. Didn't need it. Nope. His only concern right now, Clark, is getting the points on the board, and I don't mean style. <laughs> I like the simplicity. Uh, but there was some style there, Kev. It was a pretty sweet one-handed flush. The first free throw is good. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've, um, they've made them all, taking full advantage at the line. Well, it's a nice job of really making the most of their opportunities. And the black team making a change here. Christie's checked in. And so it's black with it. They trail by seven. Here's Rain Man. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And the black team making a change here. Mason's checked in. Both good from the line that time. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. 
He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Here's Holland. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That will be foul number five on him. And they're one away now from being in the penalty. Yeah, you know, now's not the time to be careless. The next one sends them to the line. Well, at least he had the presence of mind to change his shot when the defense got on him. You've got to improvise sometimes. D passes to Money. Here's Christie. He's guarded by Elijah Wan. The shot's good from Christie. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Here's the captain. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. That whistle got a big response from this crowd, and it is not a favorable one, let's say. I'll tell you what, the fans can't believe that they made that call. No good. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's costly. Makes the lead pass. Holland the pass to Orton. Dishes it to Elijah Wan. That could have major consequences, Kevin. With this game still in question, it's really a tough time to lose. Williams, he's checked in for Rain Man. First free throw is good. Casal, he's checked in for the captain. And so he hits both. And the black team with possession here. Six-point game. Always oh, going up for the alley-oop here. That's a foul called on the Prophet. And that'll be his third foul so far. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. O'Neal's check in for Williams. The captain's check in for Kazak. Fifty-three left in the first half. D passes to O'Neal. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. He shoots again. And he sinks the layup. O'Neal's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was a real struggle, but he's got it going now. That's good. He has really put his foot on the pedal this quarter, doing a tremendous job leading their offense. Pass to Speedy. Here's Money. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Money's got seven points in the game. He had his choice of finishing moves there, and you just got to love the fact he went old school with the finger roll. No good from 18. I tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. And he gets it to go. It's his first three-pointer of the second half, which actually makes it his first of the game. The captain's gone one of two, shooting from three. 
passes it to Speedy. Mason, the pass to deep. Here's Speedy. True on the 14-footer. Nine points in the game so far. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Holland. No good with the wing jumper. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. And he gets it to go. Here's the captain. He's got 17. Puts the lead pass in front of him. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. And those could be an important two points, too, guys, in a close game like this one. Second quarter ends in a tight one. The White. And we welcome you back. Glad to have you with us as more basketball is on the way. During the break, the players getting refueled with Gatorade. We're looking amped up and ready to get going once again. Some fantastic numbers here for the captain. He has 17 points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. We've got Ori. Profit is out there with Elijah Wong. Then there's shake and bake, and it's the captain in at the shooting guard position. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And the black team with possession here. They trail by six. It's stolen by Elijah Wan. And they're moving it up. Here's Holland. The defense looking a little bit dazed now. A ferocious throw down there. Not bad for a player of his size. Not bad at all. How about that spring coming out of those legs? On the pass to D. No luck. And White the other way now. Holland the pass to the captain. And the foul on Big Smooth. That will be foul number five on him. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happened. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Clark? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense. That's for sure. And so it's Black with it. It's a 10-point game. These are incredible rebounding numbers. I'm not sure if we've ever seen anything like this, Clark. Uh, that's for sure, Steve. I mean, a superhuman performance on Speedy. the backboard. Well done. And it's Speedy with a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's the captain. And the rejection by O'Neal. Now, still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. Pass to Mason. To end the run. And it's good on the layup. And 11 points for Speedy. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. The Prophet passes to Orr. Picked his pocket. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That fourth foul might force him to scale back the aggression defensively a little bit. He does not want to pick up number five. Oh! You always want a player to have his head up and to be surveying the court, but not if that's going to be the result. Pass to the camp. <laughs> to the paint. It's tipped. And they're on the break. Here's Money, Ori defending. And there's the three-second violation. Yeah, you can't make that kind of an error and expect to win. You're right, Steve, because they will cost you. I mean, those kind of mistakes, those are losing plays. Here's the captain. Here's the profit, guarded by O'Neal. That one goes. Count. And you can feel the... the 
pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Well, they need a shot or two to fall here soon. They're only one of four since the break. Passes it to deep. All alone. And the layup is good. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. The captain slams it back in. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's the profit, guarded by Mason. And he knocks down the first one. Well, the league is making a push for more transparency with its officiating since last season, and I really think that's the way to go. They're sharing memos with teams and the media. And I think it's a great step, really, because, uh, again, with all of the information and technology available, fans are able to see more and their expectations are higher. Uh, when you can do it at a higher level and to help you get things right, I think transparency is a good thing for the officials help people understand how difficult their jobs are and the great job that they do as officials. And the black team making a change here. Anthony's checked in. And when it comes to officiating, players have said the main thing they're concerned with is consistency. That's right. You know, that way they can make the adjustment to how the game's being called. And when you talk about that open dialogue and transparency, I mean, that can only help. Communicating how certain situations are going to be interpreted. And the black team making a change here. Honors checked in. And the black team with possession here. Trailing by 10. There's the pass to Money. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Money's got 13. Well, Kevin, he's got such a great focus as a shooter. He's a very frustrating player to guard because unless you actually block his shot, you are not going to get in his head and affect him. And Steve, near the bucket, he's one of the best finishers around. I mean, he does a great job of using his strong body to fight through contact and get to the rack. Christie, he's checked in for Anthony. Christie. And down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. They'd love to get more of those, the easiest two points possible. And on a fierce finish. Yeah, and that's exactly how they're going to cut into the lead, Kevin. Yeah, that's why they've got to tighten up their D. And I'd be surprised if the defense allows any more free runs to the hoop like that. And the defense just lets him go there. And once he hit the open floor, there was no looking back. Straight to the rack. Banked in off the glass. And that's now 18 points for the Prophet. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. D passes to Christie. Here's Money. It's stolen. And here's the fast break. Here's the captain. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. And the first one at the line is good. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, sometimes it's contagious. Everybody starts to get comfortable and relaxed, and everything goes in the hoop. Test the money. Three-pointer. And it ends up out of bounds. The white team making a switch here. Gazelle's checked in. 
About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Oh. It's tipped. Pass to Ori. Here's the profit. Oh. The way up off target. Oh, Boy, I tell you what, guys. He's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Oh, no. Not the guy you want to put on the line, Kevin. He's an ATM from the free throw line. He's been getting to the line. Now his sixth trip in the game. Kevin, it's been a very productive game for him at the line. No question. I mean, in terms of his free throw shooting, guys, he's been locked in. So he gets them both. Nine seconds left in the third. Green by O'Neal. Passes it to Money. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. The first free throw is good. The white team making a switch here. And he makes both free throws. Ellie. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Well, Clark, a clear lane to the basket and the emphatic jam. And that is outstanding attacking back. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. The white team up 10. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. They've got O'Neal. G out there with Christie. Then it's Anthony Mason. And it's Money in at the three spot. He passes to Christie. Another shot. And the shot no good. A bit short. Now normally that's a shot people make, but well, that's not really his bread and butter there. Hard some serious agility coming out of the backcourt. You know, that bucket might count for a little more than two points when he finishes it with that kind of flurry. Yeah, against a D that was already reeling a little bit. That was like a body blow. Speedy's checked in for Christie. On defense, White, 14 points, their largest lead in the game. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Mason drops them both. 100% free throw shooting this half, guys. Efficiency is so crucial when you're trying to overcome a deficit, Steve. Here's the profit. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. The pass to Speedy. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Well, that's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. Here's Holland to the middle. The Prophet lays it up and banks it in. The Prophet's got 22 points. Well, this is what he does. He's shooting it well. He's scoring a lot of their points, getting them in front. Here's Gary. Can't get it to go. And White the other way now. Here's the captain. Drops one in from the wing. The captain's got 11 points here in just the second half. You know, from that in-between range, they've actually been the much hotter team. Well, when you make perimeter shots and knock down those jumpers, it opens up everything else. Man, another mistake. This is embarrassing. I mean, you've got to make better decisions than that. Shake and bake. Stripped it away. Here's Speedy. And the dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. The Prophet passes to Elijah Wan. That's good. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers. Ten of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. 
And the call will be against D. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Here's the Prophet. That one's good from the corner. The Prophet's got four points in the quarter. They ran that inbounds play perfectly there to get the quick hitter. Speedy the pass to Money. And he gets it to go. Here's the captain. Backs him down. And it's Speedy with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's the captain. Second shot opportunity. Here's Holland. The shot no good. The black team going the other way with him. Speedy the pass to Mason. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Boy, great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. <laughs> and his shots are dropping right now. This quarter has been very kind to him. D passes to Money. The dish to Mason. Here's Money. Releases. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. It's been a great day for them on the boards, Clark. That's definitely been a major factor in building this big lead. And you know, from a number standpoint, the advantage might not be that large, but they have been manhandling them inside. D passes to Money. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Money's got 10 points here in the second half. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. In Jonia. And the ball ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. He had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Casale is checked in for shake and bake. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. There's a minute 34 left to play in the final quarter. Back to O'Neal. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That is his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. Well, Jersey advertising, an idea that it had been bandied about for a long while. Last season, in lieu of that, the league tested out advertising on the court apron for the first time, as well as a small ad on the top of the backboard. So the league, of course, always looking for new revenue. Here's Speedy. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Ori with the rebound. Tried to get a little too fancy with that one. Unless the alley-oop is going to be uncontested on both ends of the play, you're better off avoiding it. Clark, they've shared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin and Steve. I mean, everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. Well, it makes it so much tougher to defend, too, when you have to account for all five offensive players and the ball just moves so quickly. Tough to defend that. Here's Holland. And the foul on Big Smooth. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. Well, at this stage, he might as well have a seat and get off the floor. They've got no chance in this one. And the black team making a change here. Williams has checked in. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's the captain. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. 51 seconds left in the game. Here's T. But they recover it. Here's Gary. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Here's Shake and Bake. Knocks it loose. 
There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. First free throw is good. And he makes the first but misses the second. Nineteen seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Well, this one's out of reach, so I'm not sure why they're calling the timeout here. Maybe just to try to work on something, maybe an out-of-bounds play or something. Well, they might as well talk about what movies they want to see or what they want to surf on the Internet because this one's done, boys. the black team with possession here it's a 16 point game one second separating the shot clock and game clock here's speedy can't hit the turnaround jumper here's the captain and so it's a victory for the road team in this one some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, The Prophet.